Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Uncle Matt's Cookery Lessons. In this video I will be making some student recipes. Very nice. Hello, in this video I'm going to be creating two very simple dishes that I think are ideal for students. It's going to be a chicken and vegetable tray bake or tray roast and a curry made with those very, very cheap and good for you lentils. And I think you're gonna really like this one. Okay, the first dish is gonna be this chicken tray bake roast. I've got some root vegetables and are we gonna bother peeling these? No, we're not, we're being really lazy, but actually just give them a rinse and you'll find that those that carrot and parsnip, the skin's actually quite nice. You will need a knife, something like this is ideal. Uh, just top and tail, both the carrot and the parsnip. Now, of course, you can use any vegetables that you like, but it's the winter and these, you know, these are very wintry vegetables. Now, cutting to a size, like so, is important because I'm cooking these at the same tray at the same time with some chicken thighs and I want everything to kind of have that even cooking. So, that's why I've gone for this size. Now, the parsnip, a bit thicker at one end, so I've sort of cut somewhere in the middle, the point where it's thicker, and then that part there, take down the middle like so like we did with the carrot really just choose a nice sort of shape and size whatever you think if it looks nice but the whole point of this with these vegetables repeat is that they cook evenly so similarly sized peeling an onion not sure if you've done that before but yeah pretty easy um, I like to top and tail but I like to keep the root part attached so it holds it together that's the root bit at the bottom both onions done have a little tidy up half the onion and then quarter them. So that root, that core, if you like, is gonna hold them together when they're called cooking so they won't fall apart. Now there's all the different names I can think of for this vegetable. In England, we call that a swede. So that's what I'm calling it. It's got a very tough outer skin, so you're gonna to need to peel that off with a knife, like so. And then so I'm selecting what I think is gonna be a nice shape and size for the even cooking again. So this is all extremely easy so far. Hopefully everyone's keeping up. Not too intimidating. And there's some vegetables done. Look, now what are you gonna do? I don't know, let's go play Halo. Is that what you do? I don't know. And there's a sort of rough old beaten up tray of mine, but it's my trusted baking sheet. I love that thing. It's gonna go on forever and arrange a bit of oil on the bottom and then arrange the vegetables on top and then sort of find some points that I want to nestle in the chicken thighs. Now, if you don't want chicken thighs, you can use chicken breast, but the thighs are better. There's some potatoes going in. And if you want to buy uh, chicken thighs without the skin and bone, by all means. But I just I love chicken skin. It's gorgeous. This is a little optional extra. Some rosemary. Oh, those potatoes, by the way, new potatoes. I think they hold together a bit better in this style of cooking. And so sprigs of rosemary in there, but so you don't have to have that. Bit more salt and pepper on there, and a little bit more of the vegetable oil, and that's going in the oven. And that was 30 minutes. Look at it. It's done, really. How easy is that? So you want to check. So do you get any resistance when you poke these vegetables with a knife? Not really, no, going in nicely. And it is important that the chicken thighs are cooked to a certain temperature. I would say 80 degrees is fine. It, they'll stay moist. That's why chicken thighs are better than breasts. Breasts dry out a bit. But I wanted it to be a bit more crispy, even though it was ready. And now draining off the juices and fat, because I am going to make a gravy. This is an optional extra. It's a little bit extra work. That was a splash of white wine, but I know you students who probably have a bit of cider going in there. Or some water, what have you. And then, yeah, Bisto gravy granules. I use them sometimes. And that is a very, very easy way. Like, just took about two or three minutes. A couple of spoons of the, gra the Bisto granules. And the gravy is done. Have a taste of it. Does it taste nice? Yes. And then arrange some vegetables and chicken on a plate. Douse it with that lovely gravy. And there you go. Doesn't that make you want that rather than a Domino's pizza? I think so. You know. It reminds you of being at home when mum cooks you a dinner. Look, nice bit of roast chicken, roast vegetables and gravy. Bosh. Isn't that nice? And very little washing up to do. Part two of this student recipes is a lentil dal. And that basically a dal is a, a curry with lentils, really. And these orangey or red lentils are so cheap and easy to cook that, you know, that, that should definitely be on your list. 
The soaking of them is not essential. You don't have to do that, but I like to just to sort of give them about 10 minutes with some cold water whilst I prepare some vegetables. And it's not very much. I'm just going to use onion and garlic in this one, so I didn't... We've already seen how to peel an onion, so I'll just race through that. This is how you dice an onion. Try to get it nice little fine dices, keeping the core of the onion attached. You cut horizontally, then across, then down, and... Well, you saw me do it. It's really, really easy. When you get to the bit of the core, and the whole time you're making sure you're keeping your delicate little fingers out of the way. You need them for your schoolwork. And then you go. A few more cuts that way. Roughly chop the onion. It doesn't really matter what it looks like because it's kind of going to get all melted in with the lentils. And that's me just racing through the rest of those. And you can go and have a little cry if you want because, you know, the onions make, make you cry, don't they? There's some garlic. I just sort of... You can always buy some like lazy garlic or garlic paste, but it doesn't. It's not hard to peel them. So now it's time to cook the onions and the garlic. So over a low heat with a clean pan, a little bit of oil, in with the onions, in with the garlic. Stir that occasionally for yeah a few minutes, maybe up to five minutes or so, just to sort of sweat them without colouring them. Prepare some nice flavoured liquid. I've got a stock cube there and some boiling water. Very very easy, low maintenance little work involved here just let that dissolve time to add the curry flavor to these onions you can use dry spices if you like but you know even easier get a paste a couple of spoonfuls of that or less if you think it's a bit too much drain the lentils and then don't realize that the battery ran out in your camera so you didn't film putting in the lentils followed by the stock but then you stirred it so sorry about that folks lentils then stock stir lid on cook over low heat i'm making a little uh, accompaniment accoutrement to go with this and it's a bit like a right or a tzatziki that's yogurt cucumber and mint dead easy and that's nice and refreshing to go with this gorgeous curry that you're making so really you, you, you're done there's is there any more work to do a little bit of seasoning in it a bit of salt and pepper when you taste it it's, it's nice to season the food so that's had 30 minutes again cooking over a very low heat so it doesn't burn and you're stirring it every now and again. Have a taste. Are the lent do the lentils feel nice in your mouth? They've got a nice texture to them. You enjoy that. That's good. They're ready for you. Taste the adjust the seasoning with a bit of salt and pepper. Turn off the heat and serve immediately. A couple of ladlefuls into a bowl. That's a bit of parsley. You could obviously use coriander if you're doing it properly, but coriander's not allowed in my house. And a pit of bread and hand you back over to me for the tasting. So, that is a very, very basic sort of lentil dal. Um, it's so tasty. Of course, this is um, vegan friendly. If you use a vegetable stock or just water. And it's really, really delicious. Just shop-bought naan. You can even buy your, your raita, so you've got to make that. Mm. So there you go, there's a couple of really, really simple recipes to make, a dal and a roasted uh, tray bake. Super cheap and nutritious and just delicious and everything good about it. And I think you might really enjoy the process of actually just cooking something fresh rather than just eating out of a takeaway box. So um, thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you're new here, please, why not uh, click the subscribe button, leave a comment, or at least, at the very, very least, please everyone just press that thumbs up button. That makes a massive difference to my channel. And I will see you again really soon. Bye.